to show you pip brackets versus the knotted brackets that we have. A lot of you purchase rebounders from us and we've gone through some iterations on the brackets. Now the brackets are the things that connect a bungee cord to the mat. So if you take a look at this mat that I have laying on the table, I've taken like the whole fat rebounder mat, right? If you take a look at this rebounder mat, I have um, cords with brackets. So these, these are the plastic brackets that go into the loops. And ultimately, when you wrap this around the rebounder, this is the thing that connects the mat to the frame. Okay, now what we're going to talk to you about today is looking specifically at the type of bracket that you have. Now, you may have a bracket that when you look down, it looks like this. So if we can just focus on this over here, you'll see this is the oldest style. So these don't have knots. So what essentially we mean by that is that the, the cord that goes into these brackets, goes into these brackets with a mechanism that what we call a pip at the end and it plugs in. Now we've pivoted away from this. What I want to demonstrate to you is moving from this to the knotted brackets. So the first thing that you're going to do with these brackets to take them off, it's a very simple process. You hold the bracket in place and then you take this end of the cord and you give yourself like a centimeter to two centimeters and you twist and you push and you twist and out pops the one pip. You go to the other side you don't even have to, you could just take this end off. Once that's done, you take the end off, and obviously you can break it now. Take that off, you pull that out, and the bracket emerges. Okay, so now you have a bracket with cords and pips. Now you're gonna take the other one out too, so like I said, it's gonna be inside, but you just take it and you give yourself a little bit of leeway, and then you push and you twist. You push and you twist, and you push and you twist, and it should come out. Then, that's done. Now what we'd like you to do is take your cord, the pips and the bracket and recycle them. Don't just throw them away in a trash can. Please ensure you recycle these. Okay. So now you've got this in your hand and you're done. So you're going to now migrate to your new cord. So your new cord that you got from us has, it's, you see it's, it's longer, number one. It has a knot at the end in the packaging um, and it comes this way. Now you may find that that's not the case. It comes completely separately. Now what I want you to do is focus on this bracket for me, Bridget. Just come a little bit closer and actually focus on it. A cylinder, which is the bracket, the cylindrical object, right, has two sets of holes. If you take a look at the hole there, there's an indent in the cylinder, then there's another set of holes on the other side that doesn't have an indent. Okay, so these are smaller than the ones on the other end, which are slightly larger. So if you do have a cord that's loose from your bracket, this is applicable. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the end that does not have a knot and you're going to insert it into the larger hole through the bracket where the cylindrical uh, gap is over there and then you're going to pull it down like that. Okay. Then the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to your rebounder, you're going to insert your bracket in there, then you are going to take your cord not to the bigger hole, to the smaller hole. So the hole with the cylinder is opposite now. So just focus on that bridge. So now notice, I've, what I just showed you is the knot end is sitting in the hole where there's an indentation. You see that indent, that little cave in there inside the cylinder. That's the side where the knot goes in or, or rests on. Okay, and it exits on the other side. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take that, once it's in like that, you're going to put it into the mat, okay, the little, the little loop that connects the bracket to the mat, and then when you insert the other end of this, the, this uh, bungee cord, you're not going to obviously put it into the big hole again where the cylindrical um, gap is, you're going to put it into the smaller hole on the other end, you push it through like that. And once you push it through like that, then you, all you're doing is you're going to make a simple little knot. Okay, simple little knot. As far down as you can to give you some play. So there you go. I'm just going to make it as far down as I can without making it ridiculously far down. So you're giving yourself about a centimeter. And then you pull that down. And there you have it. This means that you have now migrated from a pip bracket to a knotted bracket. So now the knots are situated and resting into the two holes on the side where the cylinder has this gaping hole over there, that gap over there. That's how you know that's the side. Now when you install this on the rebounder, 
right? When you've done this and you've put, you've migrated and all the brackets on the mat have been migrated, I will show you in the next video how you actually then install this on your rebounder. But this is the installation, this is how it looks. Notice where the knots are, notice where the holes are where the knots rest is where the cylinder has a gap and they come out on either end, okay? And thereafter we'll show you. So again, just coming back again, Bridget, focus back on me. So when you get it in the mail and you're getting your brand new cord, it's gonna look like this or it may be separate. Just again, just so you know. So if it's separate, look at your bracket. The side that has the cylindrical gaping hole in, that's where you're gonna put it in the first time, pull it down so the knot rests in that particular hole. Then you're going to insert it into that little loop on your mat, then you're going to take it on the other side and you're going to insert it into the small hole and then you're going to make a knot. Let me just show you this again, very easy. Okay, the knot may look like flimsy, but trust me, when these things grab, um, they sturdy. So look, I'm gonna give myself about a centimeter if you take a look at that knot. And then when I pull it down, notice both knots are sitting where the cylinder has a gaping hole. That's where the knots need to go. Okay, so then the loop will be on it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this over the frame of your rebounder and around, and it's gonna hold like that. So essentially on the rebounder, it's gonna look like that. I'll demonstrate that in another video, but this is a very important installation technique. This, this is the way you do it. This is, you know, some people will, will put the thing in and then kind of twist it around and put it in. Don't do it that way. When, when, when you've put it the one in the one side and you've put it into that little loop and then you've looped it back in and put the knot, then it's in place. Do it that way. Don't do it any other way because some of you are doing it where, I don't know how you're doing it, but you're putting it in there and then you're kind of looping it around and back and then somehow it looks like this in some of the pictures. Or when it's done that and then we're seeing pictures where some of it's like that. And then when that happens, when the two cords are rubbing against each other, they're going to perish. They're going to, it creates heat and that heat will perish the material around the bungee cords and that's going to result in a, in a, in a, in a, in a cord that perishes much quicker than it should. Okay, so. That's how you migrate away from the pips. And just coming back to the pips again, right? On the pips, when they are in, all you're going to do, you're going to give yourself some play, you're going to twist, 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 and out. Now, if you do struggle with the pips, my suggestion is you literally cut the bungee cord. Just cut it, and then you discard of these. But remember when you discard of these, please folks, this is plastic, this is recyclable, please make sure that you put it in the plastic recycle um, but and you don't just throw it into the trash can. Okay, this is waste. We need to have this go back into the system again. All right. Thanks everyone